good evening to all of you at the outset i thank uh, the organizers of jpef and especially jodhev sir for giving me this opportunity to chair this very important session on a very important topic hypoglycemia which as you all know is one of the most common and dreaded complications in diabetes mellitus apart from being one of the four acute metabolic complications of diabetes the other three being lactic acidosis uh, diabetic ketoacidosis and hyperosmolar non ketotic state it is also very common and potentially a fatal complication the lifetime risk of developing hypoglycemia or the prevalence of hypoglycemia in a person who is on insulin approaches a very alarmingly high percentage of 80 to 90 percentage and studies have shown that it accounts for 2 to 4 percent of all deaths in type 1 diabetes regardless of the cause the management the rapidity of management is what we should be focusing on and this being the major limiting factor and a hurdle in our quest for good ideal glycemic control this is a topic of immense practical importance and i would like to invite with pleasure professor rishi shukla senior endocrinologist department of endocrinology at regency hospital kanpur and center for diabetes and endocrine diseases kanpur to deliver this lecture good afternoon friends thank you dr hari for good words thanks dr jyoti and the lady bini behind him sunita for the invitation i'm going to discuss this barrier and in this journey i would like to share some science and some of my own experience let's say how it works out the perceptions of hypoglycemia as dr hari discussed is one of the very important complications and what i perceived long way and before how i perceived hypoglycemia let's discuss how i perceive life because once you understand how to perceive life possibly you'll be able to understand so many things the perception of life is for many of us life moves as per our wish everything positive happens true and people boast this is all because of my hard work i can say i am endocrinologist because of my hard work but man luck also played some role and they simply forget the fact that many people have worked harder than them with lesser achievements is that correct do you see this in day to day life <laughs> we also forget the fact that life is same for all human being so we are blessed to sit here to listen the talk and i'm more blessed to address this the whole perception about hypoglycemia let's come back to hypoglycemia was it is nothing 20 years back when i started my endocrinology i used to think it is nothing but simply if you are able to change the stepney of a car or a tractor possibly you can handle it but as time passed i learned i experienced and my perceptions change it is most important acute complication one it is dangerous people had bike accidents <coughs> became unconscious in train precipitated angina even acute coronary syndrome patients are fear to the tune that their blood sugar always stay uncontrolled and even stop taking nitrogen those who have had a very hazardous experience of hypoglycemia they also say it is better to die then to take night insulin or night oral hypoglycemic agent so we need to convince that's why i put this slide to understand what hypoglycemia is to the people who have had a severe hypoglycemia more than 3 lakh emergency department visits so this is the one of the commonest cause of hospital admission i believe across the globe look at the mortality 2 to 4 percent of all diabetic deaths. The post-mortem diagnosis is difficult. However, historical and the circumstantial evidence probably due to hypoglycemia induced arrhythmia or respiratory arrest. I mean, these are the reasons why it happens. This is the small study. Look at this study. The hypoglycemia induced uh, hypoglycemia episodes often go unrecognized, and a continuous glucose monitoring was done in type 1 and type 2 patients. And to my surprise. it was 63 and the 47% of patients who developed one or other hypoglycemic evidences and if you go into deeper 
sometimes these incidences lead to arrhythmia and the coronary event what are the causes the side effects of some diabetic medications including insulin oral diabetic medications pills that increase insulin production so insulin production increase so secretory gox are blamed poor blood sugar monitoring again i would say this is one of the very 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 important factor that leads to hypoglycemia because we always believe i am all right so why should i get my my blood sugars checked and one fine day you are found unconscious in your bed so this happens very frequently and this happens see we learn out of experience if some diabetic has not developed much problem he starts handling his or her diabetes on the basis of experience so please encourage your patients for monitoring then meals or snacks that are too small delayed or skipped so that is another issue physical activities there is mismatch if the physical activity is more alcohol again is blamed if you have more alcohol the hepatic glucose output is suppressed and which leads to hypoglycemia other causes may be critical illness the hormonal deficiencies i have seen adrenocortical insufficiency in association with diabetes this is what i wanted to focus the principle is clear this is ukpedia's study as we try to lower blood sugar there are more chances of hypoglycemia so the different trials also narrated the accord trial which was interrupted after 3.5 years of diabetes and hypoglycemia is said to be one of the factors when initial data came however it was not accepted very widely afterwards when data reanalysis was done the advanced trial patients who experienced more than two episodes of severe hypoglycemia showed an independently increased risk of macrovascular event event so that is again very important the vadt trial again showed that active arm had more significant hypoglycemia this is again important about the driving which we seldom practice people with insulin driving it this is a bmj 11 and they have a restriction in england people with insulin driving large vehicle or carrying passengers more than 9 seaters are not issued the license so this is important and if hypoglycemia this lines is again important for everyone if hypoglycemia is experienced during driving for anyone the driver should stop vehicle one test blood sugar if possible two ingest carbohydrate and wait for 30 minutes every time we feel that it is all right it's not because cognitive function remains impaired up to 30 minutes after restoration of hypoglycemia so eat something and wait for 30 minutes again is important for us in critical care again there was data in 2001 that the tight control reduces mortality however it was not repeated and it was found conclusive in subsequent analysis it is a pro arrhythmic pro arrhythmic it gives arrhythmia so there are a lot of mechanisms i'll not be going into the details unawareness hypoglycemia this is again important issue and that is inability to identify impending hypoglycemia most commonly with type 1 with intensive control however it is very frequently seen in association with type 2 diabetes and mechanism is thought to be due to alteration in various components of physical hypoglycemia i mean next figure if you see this is the threshold this is the threshold at which sweating and the tremors develops say around 60 in a normal individual when somebody is a very nice control and maybe 5 or 7 is down the line the threshold goes down it goes down to say around 50 or 55 so that's why the hypoglycemic unawareness takes place hypoglycemia with different treatment modalities with sulfonylurea the chances are highest the maximum blame goes to glibenclamide then glipizide glycazide glimipride this is the order in which i put and finally glinates the glitazones very less chance metformin very less chance alpha glucosidase inhibitors very less chance when used alone glucagonic peptide again a very less chance dpp4 inhibitors very less chance the newly met newly arrived medicines sglt2 inhibitor that is sodium glucose transporters inhibitors the chances are none then coming to insulin 
the human insulin versus analog the analog insulin have less chances the multiple subcutaneous injections versus ampm injection the multiple subcutaneous injections have less chances and multiple subcutaneous injection versus insulin pump the pump has less chances and the now the one we have moved one generation ahead the regular pump versus the latest pump available which has got a feedback mechanism the chances are essentially negligible so we have remedies is it possible to control diabetes without hypoglycemia we can hypothesize and we can make some efforts that is use less sulfonylurea number one newly detected diabetics it is this is one thing for sure that when diabetes is detected in a newly individual it is easy to maintain with very less hypoglycemia as you to have a nice control if you only thing is we need to make these people understand then early use of insulin with metformin or metformin plus dpp for inhibitor chances are very good very less chances insulin pumps i have briefed you now we have pumps that have a feedback mechanism so it is working like a semi pancreas then blood sugar monitoring again i put the emphasis we must always encourage our patients to do blood sugar monitoring because it is one tool that takes care of so many things oh i'll be moving faster then lastly we can avoid hypoglycemic prescriptions that is lantus 20 at bed time and himalog 50 ml himalog 50 thrice a day like this dimacron two sulfonylurea to be prescribed together and again the most 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 is important thing is is spend 5 minutes with patient inquire if he or she knows about hypoglycemia and just ensure can they handle themselves this is very important tool to avoid hypoglycemia and the key message is it is impossible to avoid over treatment since this can result in rebound hypoglycemia so once hypoglycemia has happened avoid over treatment however happiness lies in a small thing that is brief your patient that can you, that you can do something good by taking a small care at times big things are not all that good with this thanks a lot for your kind attention thank you this is pamela anderson i think all of you can recognize